All right, what's up, YouTube? Just want to do a quick harvest today, but uh, before that, just want to show uh, this Benny Zuru strawberry variety that's starting to flower. Um, I don't know why, but some of these flowers seem to have uh, this black dot in the middle. I think that may have been from the cold weather that we had. I'm gonna drop, I'm gonna drop down to 18 degrees about, about a week ago. But here's some newer flowers. You can see a lot of neck. Wow, you can see a lot of nectar in there. I'm not sure if the camera's catching it, but this second flower right here is a glisten. You can see a glistening. Uh, oh no, that's not nectar. That's water. So that's just moisture in there. I seen a reflection. Okay, that's just water on the petals. All right, but this is Benny, Benny Zuru, uh, strawberry variety that I received from Baker Creek uh, about last season. And this is my first time witnessing it flower. So it's doing, it's doing good. Got, uh, I believe it's three sets of Benny Zuru plants in here. Okay. And what I want to harvest today is the Pantagorella variety. Show some more uh, fruit sets flowers and fruit sets right here is the marshall marshall variety marshall strawberry and if you look inside this marshall strawberry flower you can see a lot of ants in there that just means that basically that pollen is uh very sweet and there's a lot of it because i, I don't see uh ants actually i'm disturbing them a little bit just so y'all can see see the ant that's one two about three or four of them in there right now. There's a fruit set right here on Marshall on the same plant. And there's a few, um, you can see a few, a few uh, flowers poking out from that plant. And as well over here, you can see a few more Marshall strawberry flowers. So that variety is supposed to be very, very sweet. Um, you see the shelf life on it. It's uh, only a, a couple hours, so you, you can't you can't store it in the refrigerator, or they go soft on you real fast. But that's just how sweet it is. It has so much sugar that it really can't be stored for long. All these mosquitoes in there, mosquito hooks. Um, Y'all gonna let me find the flowers, little guys? Okay, so we have some uh, <laughs> we have some blooms hidden in here behind the mosquito hooks. This is the scarlet strawberry variety and this is a a wild strawberry uh, and here you can see the black dot that i was talking about a few of my a few of my varieties had that i, I believe that may have been from the cold though I'm not sure so i believe those flowers were open when it was frosty outside unless that's just how they normally look but i'm not used to seeing that black dot inside there and some more scarlets scarlet flowers Let's see if this one is flowering so this is two different varieties of wild strawberry right here. This is um, this is the one that's a, that's original to the U.S. Now this one uh is from the U.S. But it it traveled over to Europe and then it came back out here. So that one's been in the uh, in Europe since the 1700s and then it made its way back out here. So I'm not sure the differences in those fruits yet. If uh, in Europe they were selecting for different size fruits different flavors or whatnot so right here i have uh pantagruella you can see a, you can see a few strawberries in there it smells good in here um this one yesterday i uh tried to harvest this one and i had noticed that it was mold it was uh laying in mold for some reason maybe because maybe because something ate that little section out of it so I just uh, tossed that one to the side. But I have a couple others that look okay. Um, right here. Let's see. Still white on the back. So I'm going to uh, let that one sit. I think this plastic that I have surrounding this garden bed is making it too humid for um, Pantagorella. Pantagorella might might not like the humidity much this one looks okay so i'm gonna pick this one 
So this variety literally has um, no information about it online. Uh, it may be it may be from overwatering or it may be from insects. I'm not sure if that's splitting if that's splitting that's happening or if that's just insects eating eating at the strawberry. But if they're if they're eating at the strawberry, they normally go deeper than that. They don't they don't normally just stop. So I'm, I believe that may be splitting that's going on. And that was the same with this one. So I don't necessarily see any uh, chew marks in there. Doesn't necessarily look like a, a chew mark. It just, it may have um, rotted out due to due to um, too much humidity, humidity inside of this plastic fortress. So you can see these, these berries have some nice decent sizes that they're starting to put on. This one looks like it's actually starting to mold at the top. And now that I'm looking at it, this has the same damage that those other two had that I just, oh, that was being here. Uh, I'm gonna pick this one, just cause it's starting to um, get that moldiness up there. And I'm gonna pick this one. Yeah. And I have one back here. Just pick that one up and lift it off the off the soil. Just let that hang over the bag like that. So um, they're not all the way ripe right now. Let's see. I'm gonna taste the ripest one. I normally like to pick my uh, fruits when they're all the way red. Now this plastic has been has been keeping the insects out. As you can see, there was no insects in there, no snails or anything. I was been keeping everything out, but the mold issues, I gotta, I gotta solve that one. I gotta figure out a way to amplify the airflow inside of here. Cause you can see all the fruit sets. I got some uh, plants over there. Let's go over there. I have some plants right here too. Some pantagruella that are flowering doing well it's a june, a june bearing variety so it, it puts out a huge crop all at once uh, we can give it a taste test let me get a good shot first one moment y'all bear with me so i get a good shot of these berries before i bite into them okay so the top one is uh how deep red they can get when they're fully ripe all the way around they should be they should be that color right there and so we're gonna, we're gonna dig into this middle one right here mm. i don't know what's going on there that didn't uh didn't bite through kind of tough It looks like some of them are starting to develop rot spots. This one looks like it's in excellent condition. So let's see, the bottom is. Mm. That tastes like candy. Wow. <laughs> That's delicious. <laughs> now you can see this is what I was talking about. It, uh, for some reason that mold pit right there is farming. It may be because I uh, watered it about two days ago. Now I haven't been watering these plants at all. Then I just all of a sudden came out and watered it. So I probably shouldn't have done that. And that may have uh, caused the berry to start taking in too much water or or whatever and uh, causing that split and which led to uh, mold developing. But this thing tastes like candy. Uh, the part that isn't moldy. I'm up, um, Wow, I'm about to save this uh, top portion and I'm gonna put this on my bricks meter and I'll make another video showing the uh, bricks. All right, y'all, see y'all in the next one. This is Pantagruella strawberry variety. Tastes very good. And this one isn't, it isn't even all the way ripe. It still has some uh, bunch of white on there or like I'm all the way red. So see y'all in the next one.